Well, my family are from Ethiopia. My parents came over to the UK in the early 70s. Although it's a cliche, you know, people want to find out where they come from. Before starting the film, I'd never actually been to Ethiopia before. My kind of relationship was through what I'd heard from family, but also stuff that you see in the news about famine and war. It didn't seem like a fair representation. There's, all, there's so much more, such a richer culture. I always wanted to get involved in making a film that would change people's preconceptions. Dan had been doing a producing course at Met Film School, which is where our production company is based. And he'd also been working as an intern um, with my regular producer, Al Morrow. And he'd started telling her about the, the story of the fantastic running tradition in this area of Ethiopia, and she hooked Dan up with me. So the idea very much came from Dan. The first one I heard about Bakoji, I was amazed just the calibre of athletes out of there. The story really drew me because it was a situation where Ethiopians were not being given handouts. It was people pulling themselves out of a situation, literally with their own two feet. We made contact with Coach Sentayu, who every morning in Bakoji runs these dawn training sessions for two to three hundred young people from the town. And as we looked more into his work, it seemed that that, that was the, the place we needed to focus the film, that it was a great way of understanding the lives of young people in Ethiopia uh, through running rather than through poverty or famine. On the first shoot, Dan decided he was going to learn Amharic. I kind of grew up at home. My parents would speak to me in Amharic and I would, I would respond in English. The words are in there somewhere, so it was kind of a weird situation. I could understand what people were saying, but couldn't respond. And by the sixth shoot, two years later, he was pretty fluent. <laughs> <laughs> Documentaries, I think, are about that relationship between filmmakers and subjects. You know, that's what you see on the screen. And Dan's relationship with the young people in the film became really important for the intimacy we were able to capture on camera. When you speak Amharic, you feel that you're more connected to where you are. It's been a really very rewarding experience, really. It's probably been the most important thing I've done in my life so far. I kind of fell in love almost straight away because, in a way, it felt like I'd, I'd well, felt like I'd come home.